Truth Wins Out went to Salt Lake City to interview Lisa Diamond, an associate professor of psychology and gender studies at the University of Utah. Diamond says the National Association for Research and Therapy of Homosexuality, known as NARTH, distorted her research on human sexuality. NARTH manipulated Dr. Diamond's work to say that people can choose to change their sexual orientation. Her work said no such thing. The women who have I've, I've studied who have experienced changes in the way that they characterize and experience their sexuality over time are quite clear about the fact that they don't experience those changes as willful. And if anything, sometimes they actively resist them. So the notion that they're chosen simply because there's variability it simply isn't consistent with what I find. If North had actually read the study more carefully, they would find that that, that isn't supported by my data at all. I started my study, uh, I knew that it was uh, potentially controversial and I knew that it was potentially open to distortion. I have bent over backwards to make it difficult for my work to be misused and to no avail. You know, if, if, when people are motivated to twist something for political purposes, you know, they're going to find a way to do it. Dr. Diamond has a message for NARTH's co-founder, Dr. Nicolosi, for distorting her work. Dr. Nicolosi, you know exactly what you're doing. I have been more than explicit in my work about what constitutes a misuse of my findings, what conclusions can and cannot be drawn from my research. So there's no chance that this is a misunderstanding or simply a, a different scientific interpretation of the data. That's simply not possible. This is a willful misuse and distortion of my research, not an academic disagreement, not a slight shading of the truth. It's willful distortion. And it's illegitimate and it's irresponsible. And you know that and you should stop. Dr. Diamond has a few words to say about so-called reparative therapy. The APA has you know, found that the majority of these therapies are being misrepresented. That therapists are saying, we can change your orientation, when in fact all of the data, all of the data suggests that that's not the case. Uh, sometimes they're successful in helping people to change their behavior, um, just like any of us can, can you know, alter our behavior at will. But they say that the attraction, the same-sex attractions will disappear. They don't. These therapies are, uh, are marketed inaccurately. They don't actually have the effect that the therapists claim that they will have. And they do additional damage by using these sort of aversive techniques that leave people feeling greater shame, greater guilt, feeling worse about themselves as a result. So they do do harm. Dr. Diamond said she would like if North stopped using her research. My choice would be that they don't use it at all. But if there's any upside to this at all, it may be that it actually uh, introduces some people to real science on these topics, which can give them a lot better information than the non-science that is being perpetrated uh, on a lot of these websites. Dr. Diamond urges scientists to speak out when the research is distorted. There are a lot of scientists who would say, you know what, I just produced the data and then how it's used is, is not my problem. But I think knowing that we have a culture that actually treats scientific findings um, very seriously in terms of, of support for public policy, that would be inappropriate. We have to be very vocal about uh, what constitutes an unscientific uh, use of the data and that's why I think it's important to speak out. I'm pretty accustomed at this point to the fact that these sorts of distortions will occur. Uh, my hope is that by doing something like this, we can hopefully have a more scientifically literate uh, society and sort of consumer culture that will get better at recognizing distortions when they occur and will not simply take the citation of a scientific paper uh, as evidence that that paper has been appropriately used. Um, my hope is that uh, readers and thinkers in general will take a look at the sorts of work that's presented on NARTH and say, well, maybe I better look at that work myself before I take at face value what they are telling me that it says. If you are a scientist and your work has been distorted, misrepresented, cherry-picked or misquoted by the right wing, contact truthwinsout.org.